Welcome back. In this presentation, we'll first talk about how to take an HTML5 game and bring it into a Windows 8 app, and in the second half, we'll actually show you the process. To start, we'll talk about application structure in Windows 8 apps, as well as the navigation template, um, a very useful single page template for porting web apps. Third, we'll talk about data binding with WinJS. And finally, we'll talk about how easy it is to add an app bar and add buttons to that UI. Inside of Windows 8, we have the ability to make a more immersive app. Visual Studio helps by giving us templates for a single page application. This application starts on default.html, and the page has a container element called content host. On page navigation, instead of what you do with a website, which is switch to a different page, this application inserts the new page data into the content host container. This creates a pretty fast and smooth experience and allows scripts and data to be shared across pages without reloading them. So we want to start our project using the nav navigation app project template. You can find the navigation app template under JavaScript in the new project menu. The template will give you an empty application to transfer your existing HTML5 game into. And this will allow us to easily build out the different sections of our application. Porting your game is as easy as dropping your game assets into your new Visual Studio project. For Yeti Bowl, we created a separate folder called Game Library to hold all of our game-specific code and then just drag that right in. To add another page to your application, in the Solution Explorer, right-click on the Pages folder and select New Folder. Call it Game.html. Right-click the Game folder and select Add New Item. Then select Page Control and use the name Game.html and hit Add. This will generate three files, Game.html, Game.js, and Game.css. Game.html will be the document that your game canvas will live in. For this application, we want to give the user the ability to add their own customized hikers to the game. We can repeat these steps to add a few pages for adding and editing hikers. Inside the package.appx manifest file is where you'll uh, want to define your logos, names, and splash screens, and other key features of your app. As a note, your app will not pass certification unless you have customized the data in this file. Once again, that's the package.appx manifest. WinJS is a library that Visual Studio adds for you um, for your Windows 8 projects. Although it's not a necessary component, you can build this entirely out of traditional HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. WinJS provides a ton of helpful APIs and utilities. We used WinJS almost exclusively for our in-game UIs when we ported it to Windows 8. Since we're using a single page app, we want to override some of the default behavior uh, from the HTML um, from the web. We're still using web technologies such as hyperlinks, but instead of having them navigate to an external browser or a page within our app, we want them to instead navigate the app to those pages. So in this situation, we prevent the default behavior and then take the elements target and instead pass that through winjs.navigation. Now this takes us, now this loads in a page onto our page rather than taking us to that. The method listed on this page, the define method, is useful for defining blocks of script that you want to execute per page. This function is what we use to trigger the start game method when they navigate to the game page. One of our advanced features in this game is the ability to customize our hikers. Hikers are saved as local data, and to do so we need to create a global list of hikers that we can display, add, edit, and then use as a data source for our in-game hiker characters. 
First we're going to create a winjs.binding.list and populate it with some default hikers. This function allows you to create your own namespace as a way of organizing your code. It's great for being able to access your methods or data from external sources. Um, it gives you a public namespace through which to call them. And this is another feature that we get for free using WinJS. Now that we have a data structure for our hikers, we want to display our list of hikers using the winjs.ui.list view, uh, like is shown. There's two rows and infinite number of columns depending on how many hikers are added to the game. Using this binding list, we can create a winjs.ui.listview and hikers.html. We pass in a few options to the control. The first is item data source. This tells the control where its data sources come from. The second is item template, the template that should be rendered for each item, which we'll create next. The win data bind attribute lets you bind data from each item to DOM properties in the template elements. In this situation, we're binding the source of the images to the image element. Inside the page name JS file that is loaded when this file is linked to, a simple method called winjs.ui.processAll is called. This reviews the page and executes the templates. In this case, building the views from the data objects. Using CSS, you can change the template to look however you like. Uh, in this situation, we have the face image, the body image, and a title. The app bar can give contextual commands to your list view control. We'll add an app bar to hikers.html. Adding a command bar is dead simple. Adding an app bar is dead simple. You just drop it as a child element of the app bar itself. And then you can pass in IDs, labels, icons, things to customize it. And then in order to add functionality, we grab the button element by ID and then add a click listener, which will eventually add a new hiker. So now we'd like to show you the process live, and this will give you an idea both of how simple this process is, and uh, it should form a framework for when you do this yourself. Now, let's start from scratch and build the Visual Studio project needed to house Yeti Bowl. First, we go to File, New Project, and then from the JavaScript template, add Navigation App, and name it Yeti Bowl. This brings up our new Windows 8 solution. From here, right-click on the Yeti Bowl solution, and Choose the second from the bottom option, Open Folder in File Explorer. This will allow us to drag and drop our web content directly into the Visual Studio folder. So here I'm selecting all of our web files from Yeti Bowl, the previous sessions, and dragging it into the Visual Studio application at the same level as the default web page. Go back to your solution and click Show All Files, a button at the very top of your screen. Notice these invisible looking files? These files all need to be added to the web page, to the package to make them work. So go ahead and right click them and say Include in Project.
Now that all the files have been included, we need to update the package.appx manifest and change the start page to be game.html. Now that that's done, I'll change it to simulator so that I can run it on this window, and then show you the game. That's how easy it is to take a web application and make a Windows 8 game. It takes only a few minutes to get set up, and if you notice, it's exactly what you're looking for. The game is running just as it would in a web browser, but now on a device simulator.